Oh my God, this muffin just attacked me. <laughs> Nestle Tool House. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Today, we are trying Nestle Tool House's new restaurant. Yes, they opened a restaurant. Did you know about this? Because I had no clue until like last week. I actually just found out now that it's like 20 years old. <laughs> Apparently they opened it in like the early 2000s. So I think it's like one of those food court mall restaurants. Um, and they basically sell brownies, ice cream, cookies, giant cookies, mini cookies, muffins, toll houses. They build houses. So I was like, that's so intriguing. Like Nestle Toll House has a restaurant. I have to try it. So I got like a bunch of their cookies and brownies and muffins. And I'm just gonna taste test them today, give you my honest opinion, rate them each from one to 10. Now, I could not get the whole menu because there was a lot of different cookies, like a lot. And I could not get the ice cream items because this place is like 30 minutes from my house and it would have all just melted. So we had to skip those, but I still got a lot of things. <laughs> I'm really hungry and ready, I'm ready. So I got the s'mores cookie, a slice of cookie cake, a glorious morning muffin, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, Loki, calm down. A banana nut muffin, an iced sugar cookie, white chocolate macadamia cookie, triple chocolate cookie, and a snickerdoodle cookie. And then I got their brownie, and last but not least, a turtle cookie. I don't think it has turtle in it. I don't think that's Nestle's vibe. Let's unbox everything. By the way, guys, subscribe to my channel to me, take out for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests, okay? This is all the food. Is it all in here? I got like so many items. I don't know, we'll find out. The Uber driver had to drive so far, I felt so bad. I tipped him real good. Guys, when your Uber driver or your um, DoorDash driver has to drive super, super far, tip them well, especially with gas prices, all that stuff, tip them. Okay, so this is the brownie. Love the branding, stickers on everything, okay? It says nasty, I almost said nasty tool house. <laughs> Nasty Tool House. So it says Nasty Tool House by Cat. <laughs> that was on purpose, but then I made myself laugh. It says Nestle Tool House Cafe by Chip. Who is Chip? We don't know. Did Mrs. Potts' son just become a CEO? The brownie looks nice. Pretty typical. Okay. It smells very chocolatey. And then we got a cookie in here. It's stuck. Okay, so this must be the turtle cookie. It looks very turtly. It has the caramel, the chocolate, all that stuff. It looks very good. Kind of small size though, and guys, these were not cheap cookies. I'm gonna tell you the price soon. And then this is one of the muffins. Why are we missing like Almost the whole order here. I can't get it again, it's like 30 minutes away. I'm gagging. Guys, what muffin is this? Is this the morning glory? Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, was it glorious morning or morning glory? I don't know. Oh my God. Okay, it looks like there's like maybe cranberries in it or something or blueberries. Oh my God. I think this is the same muffin. They gave me two the same muffin. A brownie and a cookie. Wow, Chip, this ain't it. The beast is coming for you. What? Wow. I mean, this is still a Nestle Toll House taste test just with not as many items, but I'm so disappointed. I mean, we're still gonna eat. We're still gonna feast, okay? We still love this for me. I am just shocked. Like usually if they miss one item, if something's wrong, it's not a big deal to me. But when you miss like six out of 10 items, <laughs> I'm like, what? Maybe they were like out of cookies. Okay, so we are missing the s'mores cookie, the cookie cake slice. We are missing the banana nut muffin. We are missing the iced sugar cookie. We are missing the macadamia cookie, the triple chocolate cookie, and the snickerdoodle cookie. Let me get my refunds, one second. Wrong or missing items. Hurry up, it's taking a while. Usually I'm not a Karen about these things. You guys know this about me. I let a lot of little things slide because working in the food industry is commendable and it is hard and it's stressful, but this is a lot. Okay, so they just refunded me $31. Thank you, as they should. Oh, <sighs> wow. Anyway.
Anyways, let's look on the bright side. You know, it's been a stressful day. I'm still gonna eat some delicious things. Maybe this is God telling me, slow down. Okay, that's too much sugar to me. Let me get my thumbnail quickly and then we'll taste test the three items that we have. Three out of 10. <laughs> this is great. I guess we'll just show the muffin. <laughs> Oh, Katon, that's like Toll House. I should title this like Nestle Toll House Opened Restaurant and it's a disaster. Honestly, that's a good title. This is a disaster. That's accurate, it's not clickbait. Oh my God, this muffin just attacked me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna first try this morning glory muffin. Honestly, it feels like a very good soft texture. We love that. So I think it has cranberries in it because it looks very pink there, right? Let's see here. Um. Oh my, I almost choked. Oh, oh my. Okay, I can't be that mad. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I wanna eat this whole thing. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. That's one of the best muffins I've ever had. You guys know, even if a restaurant is messy, I don't get biased. If something is delicious, I will say it. <clears throat> this muffin is incredible. Like, I'm gagging. I might just finish it now. This is like the type of food where it's like, I can't not eat it. Like, right this second. Nestle. Nestle. More like Ness Slay. Wow. I have to say, guys, that is one of the best muffins I've had in my life. In my lifetime. The flavor is very much orange cranberry, which is a classic combination, but I've never had anything that utilizes it this well. The orange is so subtle. Perfect amount. It's just, it's in the background. The cranberry is a bit tart, but they taste fresh and they're like blooming. It's like spring in my mouth, right? Now the actual muffin itself is just the softest, most fluffy, most moist texture I've ever had. It's a very subtly sweet flavor and it's almost a tiny bit salty, which just gives it this amazing contrast. Just flawless, wow, wow. That muffin is a 10 out of 10 morning glory. Next up, let's try the turtle cookie, okay? Let's see. Oh! oh. Mr. Toolhouse! <laughs> what happened? Incredibly basic. Incredibly typical. Mediocre. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like they took one of their Nestle Toll House store-bought cookie doughs and they cooked it and then they just drizzled it with caramel and chocolate. Tastes so typical. Of course, it's a cookie, so it's gonna taste good. It's a cookie, but is it a good cookie? I wouldn't say it is. I would say it's meh. Wow. Um, the texture of the caramel is nice. It's very caramel apple-y, so we love that, but yeah. Very plain. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that I didn't have to try like 10 mediocre cookies, who knows. Next up, let's try the brownie. Now this feels incredibly dry. Kind of like a rock and there's two holes in it. What is that? It has, it has a face. It just, it kind of feels like a dry rock, like a fossil. They found this in the Sahara Desert. Okay, let's try it. Okay. <laughs> um. What the hell? Okay. It's a little less dry in the center. Hold on. Mm. 
That tastes less good than a store-bought like brownie mix. It's incredibly dry besides the center. It just, it, it feels like it's been just outside for like two days, which it probably hasn't, but that's how it tastes to me. The frosting on the top is totally hard and feels old. The texture feels old and then the flavor is just not that rich. It doesn't have that brownie gooeyness. It's just a dried up old piece of chocolate dust. Wow. <laughs> the Supreme! This is the only item that I actually liked, to be honest, this muffin, out of the three they actually gave me. And um, I'm gonna give this cookie a four out of 10, and this brownie a three out of 10. But this muffin, once again, is it. It's it, and I might eat the second one too. <laughs> I'm hungry, guys, it's been this. I'm stressed, okay? It's been a day. Oh my God, this is magical. How could something from a place that's so bad taste so good? It's not like an aerial quote, love her. The bottom is the best part. It's so good, oh my God. So, thank you guys so much for watching this, this disaster. I'm upset about it too. I just hope you still enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, Timmy Stay Out for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. I'll see you guys next video. I love you so much. Oh, oh, oh.